Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Uh, Welcome to the word of the day. This is Tony. We're in Philippians chapter 1 and verse 21, which as I read it, I said, this should be our mantra. This should be what we do every day. Paul says, for to, me, for to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. In that short little verse, he talks about so much. Okay. He's living, Paul is living to advance Christ's kingdom, which is what we need to be doing. Our, what we say here at Calvary is we lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. And that's what Paul is talking about. He's exalting Christ in everything we do, as we should. He's leading people to that life change, okay? And he's speaking boldly. We do not have to be afraid of what we're saying if we're talking about what the Lord is telling us because it's the Lord's words, not ours. So for him to live meant lifting Christ up. For him to die was the ultimate gain because we would see, he'd see Christ face to face, which is, as a believer, we're going to do. And what a glorious time that's going to be is when we can see Christ face to face and we can live in eternity with him just worshiping God. Wow. Either way, either way, it's a win-win situation. Regardless of what we're going through, of what people say about us, it doesn't matter. We have a protector. So Calvary, I ask today that you make the decision to live for Jesus, to exalt him in life, and look forward to meeting him when we pass. And we're going to have a great day doing it. Have a wonderful time.